is animation. It is breathing life to drawings, giving action to something static. Animation is not this. Animation is this. But that doesn't explain much, does it? To understand what animation is all about, we have to go back to basics. Slow things down. Even slower. Slower. Stop. What you see is a series of drawings showing an action in its basic elements. All the drawings are still images. They don't move at all. But they were moving a while ago. How did that happen? Animation and movies take advantage of a principle called persistence of vision. Our eyes temporarily retain the image of anything we've just seen, creating an illusion of an unbroken connection of images. Without the human eye's persistence of vision, animation and movies would not be possible. Let's see how it goes. This is the first image, and the second, and the third, and so on. They aren't moving at all. The character is static. But when we show them quickly one after the other, you'll see them suddenly begin to move. Do you see now? An animation is really just a series of still images shown in rapid succession. Humans have always been fascinated with the world around them, mimicking, copying, trying to capture movement, and making it as real as possible. Early experiments produced contraptions that made a series of drawings look like they were moving. But it was the invention of the film camera that made animation possible. Artists played around with frame-by-frame -frame filmmaking and created several types of animation in the process. Stop-motion animation, which had the artist photographing each step of the movement of an object, which could be done in clay, cutouts, or puppets, and then showing these in rapid succession. and what we call traditional or cell animation, where the artist draws a character and its movement frame by frame. Widely used by artists since the start, cell animation was developed over time, transforming it into the art form it is now. More animation styles emerged with the invention of computers. Still using the same principle behind cell animation, computers help make animation easier and it even made characters and settings more lifelike. Other artists continued to experiment with different styles, using different materials to tell their animated stories. In the Philippines, animation has been around since the 1930s. During the 60s, doon naman nag-start yung animation classes started by Larry Alcala. The 1970s was a period of experimentation that had comic geniuses like Nonay Marcelo producing groundbreaking material. Dito na nag-start ang career ni Nonay Marcelo, not just as a, a cartoonist, but also as an animator. Among the people during that time, si Nonoy Marcelo yung trained. Nag-aral siya sa New York ng animation. And when he came home here dito sa Pilipinas, kinausap siya ni Amy Marcos para makipag-collaborate sa isang project. Uh, ito yung first full-length animated film na Tadhana. The 1980s saw the establishment of the Philippines as an animation outsourcing hub.
for one, ang advantage natin, uh, westernized yung culture natin. So, alam natin yung mga, kung ano man yung mga nuances, tsaka yung mga kinikilos ng mga, mga kano. Pangalawa, uh, wala tayong language barrier dahil maroon tayong mag-ingles. Artists also continued working with the craft, honing and refining their skills, producing outstanding work that broke new ground. Jerry Garcia started his career in the movie industry as a scriptwriter, and then he moved on to special effects. Tapos nun, he formed a team and made Panday. It's the first Filipino animated series. Yung success ng Panday led to Captain Barbell and Darna. Ironically, uh, it was during the Marcos time that there were a lot of more politically themed films and in our series of animation shorts, that's where we, we really had our craft uh, grow during that time. There's something about being repressed or depression that makes you look for alternatives. Eh. Indie movement, halos yun eh. Independent cinema. Na may, marab, may mga gumagawa-gawa na ng mga movies na experimental film. At the same time, pumasok na rin yung experimental animation. Na nagkakaroon nga ng every year na mayroong competition dito sa Philippines. Kaya medyo na-inspire din yung mga independent animators na gumawa ng sariling gawa nila na mga short animation lang. Napunta nga kami sa animation for advertising kasi yun lang ang ready market na merong, merong continuing demand at saka merong budget. We tried to show na some of the major requirements na pinadadala abroad kaya namin gawin dito for much lower costs. The 90s saw the golden age of animation outsourcing. Yung Burbank at saka... Uh, Optipex, dito rin nag-mushroom yung maliliit. Bagamat maraming studyong nagtubuan during 1990s, ang prominent talaga noon ay Phil Cartoons. Nagkaroon ng in-house training talaga sa Phil Cartoons na nagpapadala ang, ang Disney mismo ng teacher dito. Nag-develop ng gusto yung, ano, yung industry ng animation. Ginawa namin yun sa Adarna House, mga kwentong pambata. Yun yung mga original content noong time na yon yung Ibong Adarna, Animesia. Nowadays, animation continues to grow. Aside from providing foreign studios content, Filipino animation professionals have also contributed to the development of animation outside the country. Local studios have popped up not just in Manila, but also in key cities like Cebu, Bacolod, Naga City, and Iloilo City. These studios develop their own materials for different applications, like advertisements, game development, mobile gaming, and a whole lot more. To meet the growing local and global demand for more Filipino animators, training centers, universities, and colleges started offering courses in animation. Right now, there are two schools, yung Ateneo de Naga and College of St. Mills, that is offering a, a degree in animation. Aside from that, there are mga schools that are still na rin sa. So we're very excited about this development kasi alam namin makakatulong sa industry. Ang nakita kong maging role ng school is to create filmmakers eh. Kasi yun yung, yun yung difference 
sa, sa studio eh. Kasi studio nga is more assembly line type. Ngayon ang schools ang nakita kong yun yung, yun, yung, yun yung direction namin sa, sa, sa school namin is to create filmmakers na later will develop materials na magiging, magiging source of work na rin mga animators natin dito sa Pilipinas. Established to strengthen the Philippines as a center for animation, the Animation Council of the Philippines promotes Filipino talent locally and internationally. With their efforts, the animation industry in the country has grown and is now worth $110 million as of 2008. Uh, animation Council has three main objectives. First is to promote the business side, which is the outsourcing side. Second is the educational side, which means teaching animation, industry-based animation to schools or training centers. Third is the production of original Filipino content. So far, we have around 100 studios all over the country. Uh, 50 of those is registered under the Animation Council of the Philippines. And there are an estimated 10,000 artists in the industry right now. In the combination of animators, background artists, graphic artists, digital painters. So, halo-halo yun, hindi yun puro animators lang. The projects of the Animation Council that time, major namin is the Anime Explosion 2000. And then we had the Philippine Animation Fiesta. And then, ang pinaka-latest naming project is the Anime Nation. Here, we are now promoting original Filipino content. So it's about time na out of all this outsourcing na nangyayari, na ginagawa namin as an industry, it's about time na bigyan na namin ng panahon ang paggawa ng sariling atin, ng paggawa ng sariling Filipino animation. Artists and independent filmmakers have improved their craft, allowing them to tell their stories. Inspired by our rich culture, they've created original content that is uniquely Filipino, showing them off at local animation festivals. And with more original content being produced for both animated films and other purposes, who knows where the next decade will take animation? With the different kinds of animation styles, using animation for various purposes, animation professionals use what suits them or the project best. But how does one make an animation? You need to start with a good idea or concept. Then based on this concept, you write the script. Pre-production is when you decide on the look of your characters, background, and props. Storyboards and voice recording also come in at this point. Production is the step where you actually do animation, drawing and making the elements of your film move. You clean things up with post-production, editing and adding in music, sound effects, and additional voices. And voila! You have your animation! Making an animation isn't so hard. All you need is patience, time, and a whole lot of fun. And you're on your way to making your very own animation. <laughs>